So what I'd like to talk about next are the activities that we can do to prepare ourselves for training with the dog without the dog. So one of the drills we're going to work on this afternoon is some leash handling. So with all areas of dog training, leash handling is very important. It can help or hinder you, depending on how your leash handling abilities are. So this is my little dog. Hello, dog. It's hooked up to his collar. For the most part, you're going to have two hands on your leash most of the time that you're searching. So I'm, it's important that I keep the leash out from underneath my dog's feet. Right? So I don't want to have my leash down like this because now as my dog walks, that can get stuck and tangled up in their feet. So I use one hand, my left hand in this case, to keep the leash up and out of the dog's feet. It's also going to keep the leash in the right spot for when and if I need to do back pressure. So when I brought my dogs in to demo, you saw me do some back pressure on each of them where I'm pulling on my dog's collar and my dog's staying at source. If you let the collar roll around to the front, when you go to do back pressure and you pull on your leash, it's going to roll that collar around and that creates a completely different type of distraction. Once the dogs are done with training, it's not going to matter. So you'll be able to do all manner of things to the dogs and they'll ignore all of it. But in the beginning stages, we want to make sure we're minimizing how distracting we're being to the dogs and moving their collar around while they're working is distracting.